what's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and crack this case wide open. So guys, we have singer and songwriter Elton John, who's come out with the book called Me Elton John. Now in this book, of course, he describes his early childhood, how he had a father that had a real bad temper. He talked about his drug addiction and things that, you know, I really can't talk about on YouTube, but he really went in depth. But one thing that I did not like was his commentary on Michael Jackson. Now, he said some very disgusting things and they were downright deplorable in my opinion. Now, I'm going to keep it all the way 100 with you. You can't say nothing bad about Michael Jackson in my presence without me catching an attitude. And then I might be ready to do some if you're talking too crazy. Michael Jackson is my man, all right? I don't care what you thought he did, all right? He was found not guilty. Shut the hell up. You talk about Miss Jenkins, I'll turn into iced tea on you. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at these receipts and read what they had to say in regards to this matter. All right. Elton John says Michael Jackson came off as genuinely mentally ill late in life, which left the Rocket Man himself believing the King of Pop had gone off the deep end. The singer makes some pretty big claims about MJ in his new memoir, Me, which is coming out Tuesday. Certain outlets have obtained an advanced copy of the book, and one excerpt about Michael is making the rounds in which Elton discusses his mental state. All right, per reports, Elton writes, I know Michael since he was 13 or 14. He was just the most adorable kid you could imagine. But at some point in the intervening years, he started sequestering himself away from the world and away from reality the same way Elvis Presley did. He goes on to say, God knows what was going on in his head and God knows what prescription drugs he was being pumped full of. But every time I saw him in his later years, I came away thinking the poor guy had totally lost his marbles. Then comes the big allegation with Elton writing. I don't mean this in the lighthearted way. He was genuinely mentally ill, a disturbing person to be around. Recalling the time he invited Michael to one of his parties, Elton claims the star wandered off and was found playing with his housekeeper's son, prompting Elton to surmise, for whatever reason, he couldn't seem to cope with adult company at all. The first question I have is what was Elton trying to say when he said that Michael Jackson couldn't stand to be around adults or couldn't be in the presence of adult company? I hope that Elton wasn't trying to insinuate what I think he was trying to insinuate. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that at all. Now, I don't understand how Elton, looking like Velma from Scooby-Doo, would have the nerve to put content in his book about Michael Jackson, knowing that Michael Jackson is not here to defend himself. And truth be told, we all know why Michael is in Elton's book, and it's due to monetary reasons. He knows that Michael Jackson brings in the revenue. And listen, guys, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this stuff out. Listen. If you know Michael or you had some dealings with Michael, whether they were good or bad, you can say that you had bad experiences. Put them in a book because we all know that negativity sells over positivity. And guess what? You're cashing in. You're moving units. And this was Elton John's intentions in the first place. He knows that Michael Jackson is going to help him sell books. Listen, it's funny that Elton thought that he was close enough to Michael Jackson to invite him to his parties, right? Well, why couldn't you invite Michael to have a conversation with him if you thought something was terribly wrong with him? Instead of years later, after this man is no longer here to defend himself, you decide that you want to jump on the train of trying to prove to some of us that Michael Jackson was a horrible person. But really, it's exposing your true character and who you really are as a person because when Michael Jackson was alive, in your book, all you say is what I think of Michael Jackson and he's a horrible person and he's a disturbing person to be around. But in fact, and I want his three children to know wasn't nothing strange about your daddy. It was strange what your daddy had to deal with, but he dealt with it. And when you take into account that Elton had his own drug addiction issues in the past, you would think that Elton could have got a hold of Michael Jackson to have a conversation with him, to maybe give him some advice because he's been there before. But nope, instead, he wakes to Michael Jackson, unfortunately passes, 
And then he dishes dirt on Michael Jackson. And quite frankly, I feel that Michael Jackson is the greatest entertainer to ever walk the face of this earth. And I feel that a lot of artists resent that. And I also feel, all right, that Elton John is trying to make a mean dollar off of a member of my community and I'm not here for it. But anyway, I'm gonna let this go and let y'all have at it in the comments. Drop down and let a brother know what you think. Do you think that his comments about Michael Jackson were inbounds or out of bounds? Let me know in the comments, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll get with you in the next video. All right, peace. Bye.